Diamond Squad, it's your girl Sonata Diamonds here, and I'm back again with another video. If this is the first time you see my face on your screen, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button, smash the like button, turn the bell notification on so you don't miss anything that I post. And last time, let's be part of Diamond Squad. So, before I get started with this uh, video, if you have not seen the video I posted earlier, um, it would be in the eye, so make sure you guys go and watch that. And along with the other video I posted earlier as well. My foundation looks so light, y'all. Today, I use my, my Milani foundation. And this is the color sand. So, yeah, my foundation looks so light today. But, um, anyways, I am going to be doing the Bad Beauty Tag. I really wanted to do this, but I had so many, um, I had so many other videos to do so i'm now getting to it um i wanted to do it personally i seen nicole did it so that's why i wanted to do it well the questions you know to eat any 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 um makeup related tag video i want to do so yeah so it has 12 questions i will leave those questions in the description box for you guys <sighs> i really don't but i'm gonna do it all right so first question what is the worst products have you ever used? Hmm. I'm going to start off with these concealers right here. So these concealers are from Shopmas A and from the brand AO Studios, right? For those of you that were, um, that been rocking with me for a long time, old sub of mine, y'all know, y'all know when I reviewed these, how much of a hard time I was having and how pissed off I was when I tried these concealers. So first off, I tried this concealer. It was way too light. Like, this concealer is literally a white color concealer. Um, literally a white color concealer. And this one is in the shade beige. And usually with the with the concealer that's, that's the shade beige, it usually doesn't look too bright. I mean, this wasn't as bright. But one thing about these concealers, you cannot put them on your face like boop, 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 and then blend it out. Because these dry so damn fast and it's so hard to blend out. I tell you, it's so irritating. Like, you have to put it on one section eye on your face at a time and blend it out. And even when you do that, it's still so difficult to blend in. Like, I'm not really complaining about these too much because these were a dollar. So... I just don't like the formula in this like I've tried I have so many other concealers like the Makeup Revolution one the NYX the Maybelline Fit Me the Elf Stick one like those concealers are really good concealer they blend out easily with no problem this one I don't know another product that's like the worst is this eyeshadow palette from from Shot Miss A um these shades are or very chalky they don't show up on your eyes at all no good and then last one is this elf illuminating palette this is supposed to be like a highlighting palette no pigmentation whatsoever it's very sheer it's very sheer um i don't know if you wet it if it will show up or not but as far as i know um when i tried this it was very sheer barely any pigmentation to it so yeah. All right, number two. What is the first sign that a product is going to be bad? Um, I don't really know. I don't really know. When I buy in products, I don't know if it's gonna be bad or good. Honestly, I don't really know. I guess maybe the smell could probably make you think that it's gonna be bad. I don't know. But yeah, number three. What brand puts out the worst products in your opinion? 
I don't really know a brand that puts out just worse products because there's a whole bunch of brands that put out good and bad products. You know, like Elf has some worse products and some good products. So it's a mixture of both, you know. Um, what other companies? Same way Shopmas A. They have some worse products, they have some good products. But as far as I know, I haven't, um, I haven't tried out a brand that, um, just brings out worse products, you know. Alright, number four. Would you rather have eyeshadow that won't blend or foundation that won't match you, that won't match you no matter what you do? I will have foundation that doesn't match me. As you can see, I clearly have foundation that doesn't match me. I have a lot of foundation that doesn't match me. The Milani one, the ColourPop one, is a little bit light on me, the ColourPop one. The, um, the Makeup Revolution one, this one, doesn't go with me at all. Um, my Fancy B one, it goes with me, but it's a little bit light. It's a little bit light on my skin. The white and white one, this is like way too dark for me. This is in the shade Espresso, but I still made it work. And then, of, and then I have my BH Cosmetics one. This is like an orangey tone, so it's okay. But it's a golden, it's a golden beige. So yeah. And my Kiko Mulano one in the shade Neutral 80. This is very light, as you can see. Uh, I used to be the shade. I'm no longer the shade anymore. And then, of course, um, I have the ones that goes with me, that matches my skin tone, which are these. My Maybelline Fit Me, my Maybelline Chupa Stay, my NYX um, Stay Matte But Not Flat, and my ELF Finishing one. Those actually go with my skin tone. But, yeah, even though you have foundation that doesn't match your skin tone, you can make it work. You can either blend it. In with some other foundations that you have or you can use a lot of contour you can contour your face really good and it will work like I'm telling you even though these foundation don't um some of these don't match my skin tone I still managed to make it work except for the Maybelline one right now I'm looking like a ghost but um yeah cuz like why would you want to have eyeshadow that won't blend you know it's gonna look ridiculous on you so yeah, number five. What is what is the worst perfume smell in your in your opinion? Um, I don't know the name of it, but I did have this perfume that my mom gave me that I didn't like the smell at all of. I don't know the name of it, but she got it from Rainbow, and I didn't really like the smell of it at all. So yeah, I don't know the name of it. So yeah, number six. If you if you had a friend who who makeup whose makeup looked it bad would you tell them um honestly I the friends I had they barely put any makeup on so I couldn't really say anything to them um but I guess if I had a friend that had that had makeup and they put it bad I don't know if I would tell them I don't know I'd probably be scared to tell them because I wouldn't want to like hurt their friends or whatever because trust me I had a I had friends that would tell me that, oh, this lip color don't look good on you, and I would get offended. Because I liked the color so freaking much, you know, and I would get offended by that. Because, you know, I would just, I probably would tell, tell her, but I would, like, try to approach her in the nicest way about it. Like, look, it's, um, your eyeshadow is not fully blended out or something like that. You know, I would, I would try my best to explain, but then again, I'll probably not do that because I don't want to, like, have the person feel offended or anything like that, you know what I'm saying. Um, number seven, have you ever purchased makeup you knew was bad, fake makeup slash rip off makeup, and try to pass it off as good? No, I have not. And I, when it comes to buying makeup products, I never know if it's going to be good or bad because sometimes I don't watch the reviews on it. Um, sometimes I do watch reviews on it and I still buy it even though, because like sometimes what I see is some YouTubers could complain that this makeup product is bad. Like for instance, 
Like I watched this on YouTube before. She was reviewing the sugar palette from Shop Hush, and she was complaining how it was bad and all that stuff. And then when I bought it myself and tried it out, I had no problems with it at all. So I don't know if a palette, if a makeup product is gonna be bad or not until I try it. So. And when I do try it, and if I think it's bad, I don't say it's good. I must be straight up honest with y'all and say it's not good if I think it's not good. I don't lie. I give y'all the honest tea. Y'all already know. Number eight. What makeup smells do you think are bad? Well, this one right here, my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. I'm going to tell you when I first bought this and I smelled it. Holy cow, man. It smelled so bad and so strong. Even when I was blending it out on my face with the brush, I could literally smell it on my face. Like, I obviously don't use this no more because one thing, it expired. I don't know if y'all can really see that. It's literally like water and foundation in there now. It expired and all that stuff. Um, and I know why do you still have this if it if it expired? I, I just have it, just have it. I don't really like to get rid of my makeup if it expired or not. Like even this one expired in May, and I still have it here because you know I definitely do want to buy another one of this because this is a really really good foundation. It has sunscreen um, SPF 15 in it. It's a really good foundation. You know I definitely want to get another one of that. But um. Yeah, I believe I have used expired makeup on my face before. I don't know. I probably have. I have I have lipsticks that I literally use, still use, that I had for like four years. Nothing bad has happened to my lips, so yeah. But okay, number nine. Is there any product that has it smells so bad you can't use it? Um. I was gonna say this one again, but I have used it. I don't, it, I don't exactly have a makeup product that smells so bad that I cannot use it. So yeah. Number ten. Have you ever bought foundation that you knew would would be bad for your skin type, then continue to use it or try to make it work, even if, even if it looked bad? Um. Let me see. Have I bought foundation that was not for my skin? I don't know. I don't think. Because uh, uh, some foundations I have or for dry skin. Some I have or for like. Some I have or like have sunscreen in them. I don't know. I feel like I'm a combination of both like dry and oily skin. And so far these foundations that I have. They've been working perfectly fine for me. Nope. I haven't seen any problems with them for me. So they very good coverage and all that stuff. So, I wouldn't really say I bought a foundation that's bad for my skin type. I almost did though. I almost did. I almost bought the Maybelline um, Fit Me Poreless Foundation but also like oily skin. Once again, like, I have oily skin but like, my skin only gets oily if I have my makeup on for a long time throughout the day. So, I wouldn't really say I have oily skin. I more have dry skin. So, yeah. So, okay. Number 11. What color do you think looks bad on you? Okay, so. I'm going to say what. Um, eyeshadow color and lip color. So, for lip color, I would say the color that looks bad on me. What has to be yellow? Yellow. Um, I think white too. I put white lipstick on before and I look. Um, yeah, yellow and white, and then for eyeshadow color, I would have to say black, because I, I just feel like I look crazy with it on, like, I, I made it work with the, you know, the last looks I did, but I feel like I look crazy with it on, so, yeah. Number 12, what type of makeup item looks bad on everyone? I don't know what type of makeup item looks bad on everyone, to be honest. 
I can't really say what type of makeup item looks better on everyone, so I'm gonna have to skip that one. So yeah, guys, that is all the questions for this video. Um, if you wanna do this tag, I will leave the questions down below in the description box. So if you wanna do it, be, be go ahead and do it. I'm not gonna tag anybody specifically to do it. Just if you haven't done it. Go right ahead and do it. If you are a channel that does makeup, or if you just uh, if you don't do makeup on your channel, but you still love makeup and still know stuff about makeup, you can do this as well. But um, yeah, guys, um, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Click the bell notification if you haven't. Follow me on my social media. It's in the description box down below. Oh, by the way, guys, I know I haven't been doing any makeup looks recently. I am doing a collab with All Things Beauty soon. So yeah, gonna get some makeup content. And I am also have tonal palettes coming in on Tuesday. Um, Hopefully they come on Tuesday. And I'll do a, a review on those palettes for you. And I also have another palette coming on Saturday for you guys. So yeah, gonna get some more makeup looks soon. I know I haven't been doing that in a while. I've just been taking a break from them, you know. Because I've, if you look, I've done a lot of makeup looks Slash reviews a lot. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Click the bell notification if you haven't. Follow me on my social media. See the description box down below. And I'll see you guys in a... Oh, no. If you want to do collaboration, my email is in the description box. You can email me or you can DM me on Instagram. And... My PayPal is in the description box if you want to donate to help out with this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.